Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're back for another episode of Let's Play the Fort Mangus Emblem Hack. Uh, really positive reception. I had no idea so many people wanted to see another episode of this, but I'm glad you guys like it. So, I mean, sure, let's play all nine chapters. Um, as I am playing this, I know that the team is still working on making more uh, chapters for the hack. It's a big team of people, actually, not just one person like I originally thought. So, uh, yeah, chances are we will see an update by the time I reach uh, chapter 8 or 9. I'm sure chapter 8 or 9 is where this hack currently goes. As for people asking for a download link, I will talk to the creator of the hack, the main leader, and ask if he's okay with me dumping the ROM in the download central of my Discord chat. Um, but I want to ask for his permission first, because it could be that he wants to make some updates before he releases it there. But I know that the link is on my Facebook page, so you can always join that and find it if you're really, really desperate. So... Anyway, guys, let's continue on to the next chapter. It's called Two Blondes, One Village. I like where I like the title of the chapter a lot. I have an idea where it might go. Anyway, let's begin. King Gast apologizes for not being able to join the expedition. However, he does pro <laughs> provide manga with a small post of strong vassals. Our hero is ready to set out for Scrubland and join forces with Mina. Oh, I get it. Mina's gonna be Ephraim, isn't she? The posse's first stop is the remote village of Fjellandsby. That means mountain village in Norwegian. Here, Manga sees the devastation of Fort Manx with his own eyes. Chapter 2. Uh, two blondes, one village. I, I certainly hope those two blondes are who I hope they are. Gentlemen, here's the plan. We'll travel south of Fort Manx and reach Dorcas. <laughs> From there, we can easily infiltrate Scrubland. Oh wait, Dorcas is a country? Very well, it seems a solid plan. Man, this brings back so many memories. La 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 Ugh, apparently Sarah wants to climb the mountain real quick and take a look. Oh my god. Orson's like her, her translator, that's great. At our surroundings. Uh, okay, if that's what she wants. Is she always like this? Can we talk about something else, please? <laughs> oh, right, I get it, because she replaces Vanessa. Hey, boss, we found some villages that were used for making a... No, no, wait, wrong, wrong, wrong let's play. Hey, boss, we found some more villages to assimilate. Haha, <laughs> I love a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to create our own nation. The Fire Emblem Amino Nation. <laughs> Now, Jacob, you are in charge. Search the stinkhole for potential slaves, and don't forget to steal all the good shit you can find. We are professionals, after all. I will gladly introduce these peasants to our beloved country. The time for hiding is over. Lovely. The Amino Nation, of course. Oh, I fucking knew it. Wow, that's... I mean, it's... The, the, the Claire sprite, uh, the Claire portrait, it, it certainly looks out of place, but it's it's a very... It's not a bad translation from Echoes into the Game Boy Advance format. You can, of course, clearly tell that it's that it's custom made. Could probably be 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 um, sharpened up a bit, but it's not a bad uh, it's not a bad translation at all. Actually, it's like it's a valid effort. Lady, <laughs> of course, it's Louise. Why isn't she using this Louise portrait though with the tits? Ladies, Louise, a small pack of ruffians are approaching. Oh no, Lady Claire, we must warn the villagers and close the gates. According to the rumors, there are two noblewomen currently residing in that village. They said their beauty is top-tier material. You there! Go inside, find those women and bring them to me. It's about time I get a sexual slave too. The rest of you follow me. Oh no, the village was destroyed. We were too late, we could not close the gates. Lady Louise, are you hurt? Tis just a flesh wound, Lady Claire. As long as I have my magic and my wits with me, I shall not fall. Oh, she's a mage. That's wonderful. We need to hide somewhere safe. If we stay here in the open, those rapscallions will spot us sooner or later. Dear Naga, preserve us. La 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 <laughs> Like how she has different laws. La 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 I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> Wait, she's saying that a pack of bandits from the Fire Emblem Amina group are planning to attack the nearby settlements. Not those idiots again. Sarah, how fair the villagers. La 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 Come again? Uh, she said she just spotted two pairs of walking melons in human disguise, and that one of them was injured? <laughs> la 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 la! You realize you're the most annoying person on the planet? Blame the writer for that! 
Oh, all right. Okay, so we get to control Clarence Luis from the start. That's nice. I like that. All right. Well, um, let's take a look at our new guys. I mean, we already know about Sarah. Okay, so we got Claire, Pegasus Knight. Um, I think she's got somewhat probably similar to her Echo's basis and growth rates. I think her speed growth is a little bit lower. Looks like a decent unit. She has a Javelin and a Blessed Lance. Ooh, Blessed Lance. Hmm. Just like Ofen's Blessed Axe. All right. Uh, then we got Sluis, Mage, gonna guess what her speed growth is gonna be like, probably really bad. Uh, actually higher than I thought it would be, 25%. Hmm, good good magic skill uh, and luck though. Good defense and resistance as well, holy shit. Alright, let's read their descriptions. A noble woman hailing from Etruria, she's over protective and kind. And then we got Claire, a noble woman hailing from Valencia, she's currently traveling around the world. Alright. Well, uh, let us begin. Um, probably go and get ourselves a bow from that armory. Let's visit this village with Manx. This is terrible! The bandits are coming for us! They are going to use us as sex slaves! Hmm. <laughs> oh, what? what's that? Says, could, that's some French, I don't know how to say that. People of Fort Manx, listen to me. Oh shit, I have dialogue here. Close these damn gates. We are going to deal with those ruffians. Hurry, before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring villages. Your weapon give you away. You're no villager, yes? Who wants to know that? Defensive, aren't we? Oh, well, I can hardly blame you. My name is Gale. I'm just a simple traveler on a spiritual quest. My name is Manx, king of these lands. Oh, so you are the world-renowned Bald King. I have heard a lot about you. Some people worship your name, while others outright curse it like it's some kind of plague. Yeah, that sounds like YouTube. Now that you are here, there might be a possibility to save the remaining villages. Will you help your people, Mr. Magnus? Are you joking? Of course. Alright, in that case, take this. As for me, I'll stay here and make sure nobody's wearing red will enter this village. <laughs> Goodbye, Sir Manx. Nice, red gem. Guess we can have Othin enter this village, then. I've heard that my village has been destroyed while I wasn't there. I got lucky, because I came here to buy groceries. Heh, <laughs> that bastard that is my next husband is probably crying tears of joy. Too bad the RNG gods are on my side. Hmm, you're still here? Take this and shoo. Onion? Is that what the- Oh my, of course. Of course it's an onion. Manx is eating an onion, lovely. So, yeah, I'm gonna- a lot of people have been asking me to explain the memes as they show up in case, and I think that's actually a really good idea, so... Um, I'm just gonna buy myself something. Uh, maybe an Iron, iron Axe for Manx? Uh, I think that's probably it. Ah, actually, you know what? An Iron Lance for Mecha. Maybe even a Slim Lance so I can do less damage with Mecha in case it's needed. Uh, so yeah, in case you, you want to know, the onion is from a random shit post that I uploaded of myself eating an onion. It, it literally had no purpose, but to... I, I don't even know why I did it. I think it was sort of like an experiment on my part. I wanted to upload a video of me doing nothing, something that wasn't funny and see if people liked it. And, well, I don't remember the views right now, but I'll, I'll post the statistics as well. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. Uh, it was basically just... I wanted to perform a thought experiment, like... Can I, can I upload a video that's not funny at all and still have people like it? And the response was yes. Of course, I think if I do this too much, it's gonna grow stale, but it's kind of funny to see that I can literally put no effort into a video and still get a positive reaction just because of my personality, which is an interesting thing to note about YouTube. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's the that's explaining the meme, and I'm going to be explaining the memes as they come along. If you want to know, in case you're new to the channel, Claire and Louise are the two women that I find the most attractive in Fire Emblem. I have a thing for blondes, and they are both uh, what I consider to be extremely attractive. Also, let's explain Louise. Uh, Louise was when I did my Fire Emblem Seven run randomized. Uh, I got Louise as one of my initial starting units, and she had Louise's growth rates, which are not bad. Uh, but she never levels speed, and uh, a video called uh, Sluis, uh Fire Emblem, in fact, blew up on my channel as a result. So, yeah. Do, do let me know if you want me to continue explaining the memes as they show up. It might be helpful to some of you. It might be annoying to some of you who already know them. Um, but, yeah. And, of course, Mecha, in case you don't know. Uh, Mecha don't think growth rates matter, and he thinks skill is the most important thing in Fire Emblem. That's why his skill growth is so high. Anyway, I think we will keep... We'll drink a Pepsi Max with Sluis. I think on the Forge she will probably be able to deal with the Bannon on her own. Let's see, maybe Claire has a conversation... Nope, she doesn't have a conversation with Manx. 
I was sure. Well, okay, Manx has a conversation with Claire, but oh, wow, that's that's depressing. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's just move over here so Manx can talk to her. Oh, I just placed Sarah in range of the bandits. Whoops. Ooh, whoops. That almost got her killed. Yikes! 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 Also, I do not think supports are done yet. I seem to recall reading a comment. Oh, nice, long-haired mage sprite. Of course, it's based on. No, wait a minute. Is that a is that a new is that a new model? Because I think female mages don't they usually have uh, short hair? Because they're based on Nino and Luke. So I think that's actually a new model. I'm not sure. It might, don't quote me on it, but I think it might be the case. Anyway, let's go. Um, boss win doubles. Nice. But yeah, I'm gonna trade those lances over to Mecca. We'll see how it goes. Okay, strength, skill, speed, luck, good level up for Bosswin. I wonder what he promotes into. Oh, I hope he promotes into an armored, like, an armored bow user. That would be insane. Alright, do we wanna... Actually, I don't wanna finish off this guy with Mecca. We can maybe give the kill to Claire. Um, yeah, we can. Claire should also get, um... She should get an Iron Lance, or, or a Slim Lance, actually. The Blessed Lance is pretty decent, like, it has a nice head on it. But, um, I should probably get her a Slim Lance. Slim Lances are nice to have on Pegasus Knights, because usually allows them to double pretty much anything. Anyway, um, can Louise deal with this guy? I think I'm not going to attack. The enemies seem a lot tougher than they do in vanilla Sacred Stones, for sure. Um, Sarah needs to get on the fort. I think it should be safe. Yeah, let's put her here. Let's drink a Pepsi Max. We can trade the Iron Axe over to Manx next turn, so he doesn't have to use his Pruji. Uh, does Ogim need any new equipment? Um, he has a Pepsi Max to spare. Maybe I'll get him a... Could give him a Slim Lance. I mean, it's always nice to have different lances on you in case in case I have the need to deal less damage with Ogim to soften someone up. Alright, good, good, good. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I can't attack because I died to two hits. The archer is gonna attack me next turn too. Hmm, not great. All right, well I want to do the the Claire conversation now, so let's go do that. This 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 should be good. You there? Are you the leader of this ragtag bunch of misfits? <laughs> Holy fuck! What was that? The bald man shall give the lady an explanation. Right, um, yes. Yes, milady. I am King Magnus, ruler of these lands. I humbly ask you to grace me with your name, O fair maiden. Oh my, a king! Your highness, I am Claire, a noblewoman hailing from the distant realm of Valencia. I was traveling with a friend of mine when those cravens touched our inn, forcing us to flee. I beg of thee, King Magnus, help me and my dear companions, Luis. But of course! How can I refuse such a selfless request and call myself a king again? Worry not, my lady, for King Mang shall defeat these fag- <laughs> I mean maggots <laughs> in the blink of an eye. <laughs> you know, the dialogue is really charming. I'll give it that. Extremely charming. Alright, trying to attack these guys in the mountains is not gonna end well for me. I might actually want to rescue drop boss win away from there. You know what? I'll do that. I'll go over here, then I'll trade a uh, sword over to Ogim. And then I'll dump Bosswind down. I need to get Sarah out of here. So let's do that. Let's put the Puji on him. Did Manx get the axe? No, he didn't. Alright, I guess we'll just uh, we'll back off. We'll buy a lance for, uh, for Claire as well. Slim lance. Then I think we'll just leave her there. Or maybe we could always go and maybe assist Louise, because she might... Let's see, how much damage does she take from the archer? She takes uh, 8 damage from the archer, and 12, so she'll be fine if I just not attack this turn. I do also need to go get the village. I realize I don't have a lot of sword usage on my team, like, Ogim's the only sword-wielding guy. The rest of my dude are, are lance-wielders, or axe-wielders, so... Not necessarily a lot of things that I can combat the bandits with. Oh, nice! He doubles! Yeah, Wolfin's pretty good. Like, 15 con. He can use Steel Axes, unimpeded. And his speed is really good, too. So, he's extremely good. So, Luis is having some accuracy issues. Uh, the Thunder Tome is a little bit inaccurate. The fire would be better in this case. But then again, they are also attacking from forests. That's sort of the, the bad thing about the fort, the way it's placed. Uh, it's placed in such a way that people can attack you from forest tiles. So, it's not that great. 
Anyway, uh, do we... If I can hit this guy, let's see, does this guy one-shot clear? He does, so that's not worth it. But I am dodging these attacks, so I can probably just keep Sluis there, and I'll be fine. I can uh, soften this guy up with a javelin, maybe? It's not gonna hit, but I can try. Oh, wow, it hit. <laughs> I love how it says Fire Emblem Amino, that's great. Alright. Um, I don't want to fight these guys in the mountains, I'm gonna back off. I'll send Manx around the mountains, and then I'll leave Orson on the fort. Maybe we can heal him. Let's go heal him. Na, 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 na. I might turn animations off for Sarah. We'll see. And then I think Mecha is probably skilled enough to hit them with the slim. Actually, even even with the slim lens, he struggles a little bit. I'd say we um, let's put Mecha. Hmm. Claire's gonna get attacked. I don't want them to attack from the mountains, I'd prefer if they don't, so I think I'm just gonna give her... Maybe I'll give her the Slim Lens. Nah, I'll keep it on Mecha. We'll put Bosswin over here, so he doesn't get attacked, and then I'll keep Sluis here. This seems more difficult than the vanilla Sacred Stones. I mean, Mecha is less broken than Seth, naturally. So you don't really have Seth to carry this chapter for you, but it seems like the enemies on average, have higher stats. I did select difficult, but I'm fine with this. I do like it when hacks are difficult. Also, Sluis is just not hitting. Jesus Christ. She's just not hitting at all. I might have approached this chapter a bit stupidly. I could have placed Ogim on the fort. He would have really been nice against those bandits, and they wouldn't be able to hit him at all. Um, but Sluis is in a bit of a pickle here, because she's not hitting. And now, even if I drink a Pepsi Max, She's not gonna survive two hits, so... But I do have Claire in range. So maybe Claire can deal with the archer. She's injured though, so I'll need to heal her. I'll just do this right away, I like to do this. There we go. That way you can heal without the animations. Always such a nice trick. The later Fire Emblem games understood this and just removed healing animations, like in Shadow Dragon. Um, Alright, good. Boom. Alright, first Claire level up, let's go. Hit points, of course she levels speed, but that's good. What's her con like? It was pretty high. She's 10 con. Claire is not a 10 con girl, by the way. Like, that's... I'd say Claire, like... I think it's important to stay consistent, because Luis is a 7, like, she's 7 con. Um, you gotta, you don't count their mount when you do the, when you do the con thing. I mean, boss wins huge. Actually, yeah, Khan seems to be need some readjustment because or Orth Orson is not bigger than boss win. Boss win should be like a 16 Khan dude. Uh, Mecha should maybe be a bit bigger as well. Claire should be like six or seven, I'd say. Louise is probably yeah, she's six, I think, in the vanilla gameplay. So, um, anyway, we need some help here. Actually, no, we just need to drink a Pepsi Max if we want to survive. And then we need someone to deal with the boss. I want to go visit the village. What in tarnation is going out there? What? The Fire Emblem Amina group is back? They destroyed the eastern village? Splendid! That's where my ex-wife lives. Anyway, take this. <laughs> oh my god, the jokes are good. <laughs> the jokes are actually really good. Short and witty, just the way I like it. Alright, um... Let's hope Boswin hits on both of these. You know what? I take back what I said. I think Oswin, Boswin's probably a pretty useful unit. He's an archer that doesn't die quite easily. And he doubles. It's pretty good. Only six defense, though. You'd think he was... Six defense for an armored archer seems a little low. Also, I wonder if armor slayers are effective against him. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not great. Um, I don't want... I think Sarah's yeah, she's gonna die to that guy, so we actually we actually need to bring Mecha back and kill this guy now. Cause I do remember those guys doing 16 damage to Sarah. That's enough to kill her if she's not at full health. Wow, good good level up, Mecha. Good thing growth rates don't matter, eh? Anyway, we'll place Ogim here instead. They're not gonna be able to hit him at all. Aw, oh, shit. You know what? Bosswind could have used like a short bow with one two range. That'd be nice. But probably a bit too OP. Well, wait a minute. How about we settle this matter like civilized persons? 
You attacked us! <laughs> a lot. The Fire Emblem Amino groups, man. Man, they, they keep spamming my inbox. They they really want they really want me to do like a sponsorship thing with them. They do that with all the fire. There's nothing that's not saying anything special about me. They're doing sponsorship deals with, with all Fire Emblem YouTubers. And to be fair, uh like I think both Lucky Crate Gast and someone else has done deals with them. I, I don't I actually don't think they're bad or anything. It's just I personally just don't like doing deals like that. I just feel like it like, just doesn't do much for me. And it's not like they can give me anything valuable back aside from a little bit of money. Um, but but they do they they, they were pretty insistent. I, I do think I wrote like a message on Facebook once where I was like starting to get tired of the Amino group contacting me. I've said no like 10 times already, but different people keep contacting me. And at a, it came to a point where I started ignoring them. I do want to see if, if Manx has some special conversation with the guy. Um, but if I if I want to do that, I'm gonna have to kill this guy, and hopefully he'll go for Manx. We'll see. Depends. If he can attack Boswin, he will. But I don't think he's in range. Uh, yes he is, but that's fine, I can just go around. I really want him to go for Manx. We'll see if we can make him, make him do that. And then I think we'll just give this kill to Sluis. She probably needs it. This hack is a lot of fun to play, actually. I'm having a lot of fun with the units. They feel nice. I mean, obviously, them being meme units helps a bit, but it's actually fun to play. But then again, it is Fire Emblem 8, and Fire Emblem 8 is always fun to play, so... Maybe I shouldn't praise the hack too much. Yeah, okay, nice. He goes for Minx. They do not have conversations. Okay. Still a nice kill. Make Fire Emblem Amino great again. <laughs> it was never great, dude. It was never great. Hit points, strength, speed. Oh, well, I shouldn't be surprised. This is a pretty classic Manx level up. You saved our lives. You have our gratitude, brave knights. <laughs> Unintelligible stuttering. King Manx, are you hurt? You're bleeding from your. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually bleeding from the nose. That is a wonderful detail. Wow, they actually imported a separate portrait into the hack to to give you the scene. Quickly, someone fetch him a handkerchief post haste. Groans of increased solar hustle. <laughs> Actually, I think he'll be fine, trust me. Oh my, he is so pale. That can't be good. Nah, he's fine. He's just being overly dramatic. Let's just say that he is uh, happy we managed to rescue you. Is that so? What a gallant and proud man. You are indeed blessed to serve such a great man. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Mecca, but what are you going to do now? Our kingdom is at war. Our mission is to infiltrate Scrubland and regroup with the other half of our forces. Then we will head back to Canada and start this war for real. I see. In that case, allow me to join your forces. Even though I wasn't born in this continent, my stay here has been nothing short of pleasant. I do not wish for this land to be consumed by the flames of war. I can help too if you desire. Despite what you might think, even a delicate flower like me has fought countless battles for the sake of our country. I wholeheartedly share Sluis's wishes. <laughs> Gurgles! <laughs> oh dear, did he just faint? <sighs> Why me? <laughs> you inflicted this upon yourself, remember? Nah, goddammit! <laughs> Thank you so much for saving us, King Mangsh. Huh? Uh, oh yeah, sure. Is something the matter, my lord? <laughs> Holy Naga, a pair of blunts! My lord, are you feeling well? Uh, yes, it's just, uh, there has been a lot on my mind lately. I understand. Our kingdom is in ruins, after all. I can only pray that your efforts will win us back our future. Don't worry. As long as I draw breath, Fort Manx will never fall. Oh, or is it flashback time? It's gonna be me and I, isn't it? Seven, 730 days ago. That's very specific. And that's a wrap. Well done, Mina. Ugh, that was hard. But you are improving. At this rate, your power will be on par with mine. You really think so, Magnus? Of course. Not only are you a talented designer, you also possess so much potential. You just need to master it, and you will become as powerful as me. Wow, we got like a student-teacher relationship with me and Mina. You know, it's funny that a great douchebag like you possesses such a caring heart deep down. Aww, thank you, writers. I always wondered why you keep this part of you behind a mask. That's just who I am. A big jerk with a heart of gold. Ouch, that was rude. Say, Manx, if you were forced to choose between your duty and your heart, what would you do? I'd probably follow my heart. But it's the point of living a life I'm not satisfied with. 
Well, we only get one anyway, so I'd rather live it fully. Enjoying every little thing, be it good or bad. At least that's what I would do. I was both wise and out of character. <sighs> Why do people keep thinking I'm incapable of using my brain? <laughs> that was surprisingly deep and very touching. Thank you. Did not expect this. Did not expect this. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit uh, speechless, to be honest. Mina, be safe. Whoops, sorry, mate. Hey, what the actual fuck? <laughs> Whoa, no need to be an angry react, mate. It was an accident. Gotta go now, bye. Fucking idiot. Hmm? Where the file is my bracelet? No, don't tell me that. Lord Manx, what happened? Boss win. Ready the troops. That hobo stole my fucking bracelet. <laughs> Therefore, he needs to die a slow and painful death. <laughs> is that bracelet really that important to you, your highness? That is not a simple bracelet, it's a key. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, guys. Join us next time, tomorrow, as we continue this hack. What a wonderful piece of writing this hack has, to be honest. Really, it's super charming. I did not ex You know, it's kind of like you go through the sh to the shit and you find a diamond. That that's kind of the feeling I'm left with right now. I did not expect this hack to be good at all, but it's actually super entertaining. So yeah, do let me know uh, if you want me to continue explaining the memes as they show up, or if you think it's redundant and tiresome. Uh, I'm happy to do so, but only if you guys want me to. So do let me know about that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be playing all the uh, the remaining eight ch chapters over the next eight days. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Bye!